Today, Kamala Harris will be delivering her closing argument for the 2024 election on DC's ellipse. 20,000 people are expected to attend. And this is the perfect place for her to make her closing argument. This right here is where Donald Trump delivered his address on January 6, which in turn incited an insurrection, a riot at the U.S. Capitol building, where his followers tried to stop the electoral process. I recently wrote about how we as educators can teach about the January 6 insurrection in a contentious election year. And now that Harris is speaking there at the ellipse, I want to share this with you. I believe that as educators, we have a responsibility to help our students understand what happened on that day and assist them in analyzing the legacy of the historical moment. Fortunately, it has become politicized, but let's get our facts straight. It was an unsuccessful coup. There are no both sides. And young people are looking to their teachers to help them understand current events. Now, I understand that if you teach in a place where it's difficult to teach the truth, this could be difficult. That's why I really love the teach by proxy method that my friend Dr. Yuhuru Williams taught me about. You can teach about the themes related to January 6th without explicitly talking about it and let the kids draw their own conclusions. I also highly recommend this play, Fatherland. It was conceived and directed by Stephen Sachs and it's basically a verbatim play from the court documents because it's a true story of Jackson Ruffett, the 18-year-old son who turned in his father, an insurrectionist, Guy Ruffett, to the FBI after hearing about his dad's role in the attack. It's a really useful play to understand the dynamics of this historical moment, and the director lets the facts speak for themselves through the actors who are basically saying what was said in the court records. I got to interview the director of the play and the guy who conceived it, Stephen Sachs, and he sees a lot of parallels between Germany in the 1930s and the rise of fascism and what happened on that day and continues to happen. And if you can't take your students to the play, there's tons of resources online that I listed in the article. Another great resource to use with your students is the graphic novel 1-6. There's two comics now. They bring this day to life with incredible graphics and storytelling. It shows us just how close the U.S. came to falling under authoritarian rule. It also explores the ongoing threats to our democracy today. 